Hey guys, welcome to this vlog. Today is Monday and I've been taking it easy today, honestly. I've been chilling. So it's a new month, it's Monday. Feel really good. Had a pretty good start to my day. I've been taking it pretty slow. I like to do my Mondays. Like, I don't like to just go like throw myself all the way into a week. I just kind of like to take it slow. So today it's about lunchtime and I'm debating if I want to get lunch out or not, but I'm on my way to pick up my license plates and registration tags for my Jeep. Pretty exciting. Now it's official official. Kind of have been going down a small rabbit hole on YouTube of like, well at first I was watching like big Victorian fact videos, like things that they did, like they were just like poisoning their food and stuff like that. Same stuff they be do, uh, we do now, but uh, it was like they were using, you know, like lead in the wallpaper and I've been interested in yoga and things like that, but I kind of took a like paused on it because I was like this this isn't doing anything for me uh, but I was doing yoga to like work out and that's just really not what it's for as I've been doing my research and so I did a little bit today and I think I'm gonna implement it back into my routine but as kind of like a kickstarter in the morning and maybe at night um, because yoga is more for like breath breath and like mental and stress management and things like that and those are things that i need uh so but i've never done yoga just for that i've done it as like a form of exercise to like in that way and i think i was just doing it wrong and i also had my counseling session that one was actually pretty good sometimes i leave my counseling sessions like and my day is just like i don't feel like doing anything today i feel pretty refreshed and i think it's because i did yoga this morning I think it's time to take these locks out. I'm kind of now, I'm ready for a new hairstyle. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to keep it for a long time, like two months. I just like changing my hair too much to be keeping things in for that long. Uh, or I should try washing my scalp. I'm not sure which one. I might try washing my scalp. Before I take them out, I was at least gonna try cutting them and making them shorter because they are just really heavy and I'm not used to heavy hairstyles anymore. That was fast, got them put on, got my tags put on, yay. I got three avocados that I think are about to go bad, so I'm gonna have some avocado toast, hopefully. It's not brown, but I got it. Okay, making some avocado toast for lunch. I got an avocado, hopefully it's not too bad. They're like really soft. And ancient grains with spelt bread. I'm gonna toast. I never understood why people tried cutting avocados in their hand like this. Like, why would you do that? If you didn't get a cutting board, it's just so dangerous. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna be having avocado toast until I eat the rest of these avocados. And then, yeah. I like to get a little bowl and spoon. So I can do all the mixing up in there. Scoop it out. My avocados to be my avocado toast like the avocado to be kind of chunky which is why I have a problem eating avocado toast out because they usually like it's it, it's like nearly pureed and that just kind of grossed me out I'm very particular so um I don't like to mix it up too much so I'm gonna add some red pepper Gonna do garlic salt, salt and garlic mixed together, and black pepper, 
and a little cayenne pepper, a little sesame oil, just for the flavor, and a little minced onion. So it looks like that. And then I just like to like chop it up. Kind of look like this kind of oh no, my bread. toast is done slightly burnt but i don't mind that because i do like to make the bread a little hard so the avocado doesn't make it soggy Scoop it on there. this is kind of these avocados are pretty big so it's gonna be like a lot Lunch is served. It looks kind of eh. I'm gonna sit and eat my lunch without my phone, so. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today, I'm about to get ready for the day and I want to cut these locks. I wanna take them out. Um, that's gonna be a little process that I have to plan for because then I think I want to do knotless braids next, like small ones, and that's going to take another week. So I'm just not really ready to um, do my hair again, but I'm ready to take these out. So to kind of help that, I'm going to try and like refresh them because my scalp just never really recovered. Um, like I did them too tight, right? And okay, I probably did. It wasn't the best. Like, I probably, I know I have, like, some, I think they're kind of, like, scabs. I don't know. I've never really seen a scab before in my head, but I've always known I'm, I've had them from, like, chemical burns and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm just going to, um, I need to, like, at least shampoo my scalp. I can't tell if it's, like, because my, I did them too tight and I just irritated my scalp or I didn't, like, wash this hair, like, and disinfect this hair and that's kind of irritating my scalp. But, or I'm just not used to protective styles. And they're heavy. And, um, yeah. <laughs> All of those combined. So, I'm kind of over it a little bit now. I don't know. I, I cut one the other day. Just to see what would happen. See if it would, like, unravel or anything. Yeah, and I never really wear these down either. Like, I don't like how they really look down. I didn't know that, but. Down, they're just kind of. Mm, Okay, I think it's just a lot of hair and I'm not used to that anymore. Here's the one that I cut and I like tried burning it. It didn't really unravel. But also it being burnt don't look that cute. I'm gonna cut them just cause like I'm, I'm really over them being so heavy. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, This is going to require some focus. so much better <laughs> oh my gosh I have control over my head again so I'm gonna make this look cute because I really like I'm feeling this so next is scalp um, 
I've got some, I've got this scalp serum by pattern. It's like one of the newer products and it's not necessarily a conditioner, but it says soothe, calm, soothe, cool and calm your roots with our invigorating scalp serum, slightly tingling and super hydrating full curls. So I think I might just be able to get away with just using this. I do have some conditioner that I might like tap in there. And then after I rinse it out, I have this scalp massaging serum by Eden. And this is just like a oil serum type that you use after you don't rinse this out. an errand chores editing day but i'm gonna do my errands now because i feel like it so i just got dressed i'm washing my bedding washing clothes so lots of like little stuff to do but i want to go to or i've been needing to get some stuff from target uh the beauty supply and i think i'm gonna stop by home goods this is what my hair looks like right now I'm going to the beauty supply to see if they have a curlier hair in this hair color. I'm going to go to a different one because the last when I did these, they didn't, the beauty supply that's close to me didn't have any. So I'm going to try a different one and probably like rewrap them. Not rewrap them, but like add some hair on top just to make them a little bit more chunkier since they're shorter now. Uh, but yeah, my scalp was on fire and it feels so much better now. Like I haven't had the urge to scratch anywhere so i'm glad i did that because i should do that sooner but anyways so i just have on two clothes so first stop is a drink for the road you can't run errands without getting a drink so thank you maybe that means less than the super hard working student that him with errands. I'm not a quick shopper. I love to like browse and think so it took me a little longer so it's already I was supposed to eat at like 12. But it's one. I'm gonna have some lunch. I think I'm gonna have a sandwich. Chicken, bread, and I'm gonna put 
put avocado on it. While I'm waiting for my food to heat up, I want to do something I haven't done in a long time. So, I've been wanting to get back into practicing my instruments. I was learning piano at one point and then I played clarinet for years. Uh, but I don't play anymore. So, I've been wanting, like, I'll schedule, like, music practice. Uh, but I just haven't been prioritizing it. So, I have scheduled it for today during lunch. And everything kind of... I spent too much time out, but I'm still going to do it. Even I'm just going to push everything back because I really want to do it. And I know it's going to make me happy. So I really would like to get serious again because uh, this could be a hobby. For I mean, <laughs> I used to do it for school, but now it could just be a hobby that I really enjoy. And, um, you know, and maybe I could like join a group or something the clarinet i'm gonna put it together and practice just for like 30 minutes it really doesn't take that much to practice i want to get i really want to get good again because okay little story so i took band pretty seriously in school uh, i've started when i was in sixth grade and all the way up until my senior year, my senior year, I was a drum major, and I was really proud about that. Uh, so I was in marching band and stuff, so I was a drum major, and it was fun, and I took it pretty seriously, and I, but when it came time to, like, go to college, I didn't know exactly what I really wanted to do in college, and I kind of teetered back and forth, because I, as much as I loved music, I also loved graphic design, but I kind of had a bad experience with graphic design in school, like, at that time period my senior year i had really bad senioritis and um so i decided not to do graphic design in college and then i was gonna i was gonna do music but i wasn't good enough <laughs> i was never i never like practiced enough i didn't have to this day i'm like fighting with having discipline and i don't think i ever really did have good discipline um but like i was good but i wasn't like music major college good i kind of just want to redeem myself there's this piece um called premier rhapsody that i absolutely loved and i played for solo my junior year or was it my sophomore year and i i think it was my one of those years and um i just want to learn how to play it again <laughs> i just really it's like one of my favorite pieces it's by Debussy. i just love it and i want to learn how to play it again and then on the key on the piano i want to learn how to play claire de lune that's also by WC. Yeah, I just don't want, I would always knew, I didn't want to be that adult that was like, oh yeah, I used to play that when I was in school. And it's like learning and, and playing an instrument is such a great skill and I just don't want to lose it. And I find, like I take a lot of pride in knowing how to play an instrument. And so I can't really say I played clarinet if I haven't played in four years, you know, I have to be. So if, if any of y'all know how to play instruments, let me know. I have all my stuff on the back, so let me turn this way. Oh, you know what? I didn't know what to do with this corner in my room. I was going to get a chair. So this could be like my little music corner because I have my music stand and I could get a little stool or something to put. Also in high school, like as much as like band was life, me and my friends, like we didn't, like we hated it. <laughs> like band was so tough. It was just because it was so tough and like emotionally taxing emotionally and mentally draining uh because it was just a very competitive lots of comparison like it was a lot but it's taught me a lot because as much as i hated it i wanted to be good at it it was a love-hate relationship i don't know what that's called
Time for my workout. I haven't been feeling great. I've been feeling kind of lazy, as I like to say. But I've learned that when you're feeling like negative things, you just have to welcome them. Don't fight it. Learn from it. I've been, I was watching this video on like meditation and stuff. <clears throat> now it's like six o'clock. I should have been, did work, been worked out. Uh, but I welcome the laziness. Really, I was just feeling a little tired. And then I'm gonna get a car mount. I'm gonna order off Amazon. I don't know which one to get. Like, I don't know how, I don't know. I guess I just need one to sit right here because this is where I always sit it. But anyways, I uh, I wasn't, I know I'm not feeling good. I, just, I get so like, what am I looking for? Uh, charger. But I was like kind of getting fr frustrated that my hair wasn't cute anymore. <laughs> I cut it and it looks like this and I have to do it again. And then I was putting on my workout clothes at about like three, it's like six now. And then I was like, oh, why does this, like, I just was like looking in the mirror and I look, I felt like I looked so weird. And I was like, you know what? I gotta sit down. Cause something ain't right. And I don't know. It's supposed to be that time of the month. So I just get like delirious and frantic and crazy. I know it's not good to say that. Cause like crazy is what men like to say about women, but look. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Yeah, so I just got these glasses from the beauty supply when I went and I'll show y'all everything that I got. I forgot to. But I was like, I want some new glasses for when I go on my walks. And you can't see me. I wanted some like big glasses because I had some but they broke. So I just got some new ones. I also took, I got some vitamins when I was at Target and I got a happy one and it was supposed to be like a mood booster and I took it but I, that was at like three o'clock and I was like oh maybe it's not working but maybe it's working now maybe it just took a little minute yeah I've been I've tried to take vitamins like I already had some but I always I forget so I never take them consistently because I also take St. John's wart sometimes um, and normally when I take that I do feel a difference and I feel better just on a daily, daily like mood booster I kind of need that and uh but i don't i forget to take it and i think it'd be really beneficial because look sometimes my mind interferes with my work so bad and then i get frustrated that I'm, i can't focus and i get frustrated that i can't do work and then i'm frustrated that i'm frustrated and it's like take it easy man Y'all had to cut, cut okay, y'all had to cut the workout short. Cause I was walking doo -doo -doo -doo, and there was these two ladies in front, like a ways in front, but they were pointing back and it looked like they were looking at me, so I was like, huh? They're like, it's a snake over there. And I was like, I stopped dead in my tracks. I was like, where? And they're like, right there in front of the tree. So I keep walking because I'm like, I don't see it. And then I look, there's a tree. And it's rattling <laughs> and it's right there on the edge of the pathway and I'm like I cannot cross that so I'm like oh! and I turn right around it was rattling I was like oh my gosh that's a rattlesnake like in real life and all I saw was the rattle the end of the snake the rattle that's all I saw and I was like oh my gosh and I just turned around because I was like there's no way I'm gonna pass it like what if I'm the one who decides to like get so I just turned around and then I just looked at a video because I was like, was that really a rattlesnake? And it was. And apparently, like, if it's just, like, rattlesnakes aren't always rattling. And it rattling was like something, like something was happening or like it was ready to like jump on somebody or something. Like it saw something. So I'm glad I turned around. Not coming. But I've come to the realization that I'm never going to feel like working out. Like that's just not me. So... The moment I'm like, oh, I don't feel like working out is when I need to just go ahead and get up. Mm-hmm, because you're going to work out. Because you never feel like working out, so it don't matter. You don't feel like working out, and 
You never do. So what's the difference? So just had to tell that story. And it's really okay because I'm out here kind of late at 7 o'clock. The sun's going down. And I had a feeling I was going to get stuck out there. I'm at Home Goods. If they have exactly what I want, I'm going to get it. They didn't have what I wanted, but they had what I needed, which was a shower caddy. Happy Saturday. It's about it's almost six o'clock, and well, like, I'm about to go run some errands. I have been trying to get my hair situated. Okay, I haven't been feeling good. Just time of the month and stuff. Yesterday, I didn't do anything, but I did upload my video. So I did my three uploads. I'm very proud of myself. Kind of the back for that, and I got it up on the days that I wanted to. So I'm happy about that. Uh, my hair, like, I completely just was not prepared to, like, do my hair this week. I thought cutting it was going to make it last longer, but I ended up hating it. So, today I finally was able to get all of the locks out, and I've been, um, like, detangling my hair, taking the braids down and detangling my hair. So, I'm about, like, over halfway done taking the braids out. I took all the locks out, but, look, if I ever say I'm doing locks again, please somebody say no, because I don't, locks ain't for me. So I'm on to my next hairstyle and I'm just like so tired of looking. I've been looking a little bummy for the past like two days and I just hate it because normally I've been getting ready every day and I just haven't been. So now that my hair isn't done, it's just making it even worse. Uh, so I'm really trying to get my hair done today, tonight, you know, finish tomorrow, whatever, and clean up. Like my rooms are just so dirty and I'm just like in a like gross feeling. So I'm going to the beauty supply to get the hair that I need. I'm going to try and do some twists. I've been debating if I want to film a separate video for it or just include in this vlog because I haven't been vlogging. So I need stuff for the vlog. Uh, I'm thinking I should just do that because I didn't really plan to do a hairstyle nor do I think anyone wants to see what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm going to take the camera in because maybe that'll make me move faster. Every time I go into the beauty supply, I will spend at least 30 minutes contemplating what I need. And I just want to be quick because I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood! I honestly don't know if any of these beads are big enough, so I think I might hold off on it. Here are some more. These are kind of cute. Back home. Got my beauty supply stuff. Got my food. But I've decided... <clears throat> Let me take a show pill. I feel like I'm losing my mind. So I'm just going to... Yeah. While I was at the beauty supply, I had a list of the hair color that I wanted. But they didn't really have all of them. But I literally, like, in that moment was like, oh my gosh, like, this is going to be so ugly. And then I was, like, completely unsure of the hairstyle again. So, that's when I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just sit down. Because I really just don't need to be doing anything right now. Yeah, if I continue to try to do something, something I'm going to screw. Like, I'm going to end up crying. So, I'm going to enjoy my Saturday night with my food and take a nap uh, after. And I think that'll help. So, if I start my hair back, I'll see y'all then. If not, then definitely tomorrow. Oh, I just... Yeah. Bye. <laughs>